Hi everyone. Thank you very much for your previous comments on my videos on super intelligent AI and uh, nanotechnology. And uh, you have beautiful minds. And some of you are philosophers and policymakers, IT professionals, AI professionals, engineers. And some of, some of you are game developers. So I truly appreciate you take time and write with me and discuss with me about the true problems we are facing. I am not here to spread fear. In today's video, I like to share with you my thoughts on AI misalignment because the previous video got too long and we all are busy people. We don't have enough time to spend on a video. So I try to make my videos shorter so that everyone, um, everyone be able to watch my videos. So I don't think that I need to tell you to subscribe and like so that the other like-minded people watch my videos. I do believe that you're intelligent enough to know that. You see, AI systems are built to help humans by doing tasks, making decisions, and solving problems. For them to work well, their goals need to match what we as humans want. But sometimes AI can go off track. This is called AI misalignment. It happens when what the AI is trying to do doesn't line up with what people intended. You see, misalignment can lead to major issues or even major problems, especially in safety critical systems. Understanding what causes this misalignment and looking at the real world examples is important to prevent these risks and create safer AI. That's why I'm writing a book about it. I've been writing it. I mean, uh, it will be finished soon. And I have shared my opinions and engineering, some engineering strategies and programming, how we can do it. Because in my previous video about super intelligent AI, I warned um, policymakers and provided some suggestions. AI misalignment happens when an AI system's actions don't match the goals or values it was supposed to follow. This could be something as small, like misunderstanding a user request, or something more serious, like a harmful decisions in critical situations. Misalignment can occur for different reasons, like Unclear goals, limited training data, unexpected situation, or complex AI behaviors that weren't anticipated. I explained about supervised and unsupervised learning in my book, which I published back in 2017. This is when the AI works toward a goal that's not quite what was intended. For example, if an AI is told to maximize, maximize engagement on a social media platform, it might push people to spend more time on the app by showing harmful content rather than creating a healthy user experience. Value misalignment. Here, the AI makes decisions that don't align with the value of users or society. For instance, an autonomous car might choose speed over safety, ignoring ethical concerns like pedestrian safety. Specification gaming. Sometimes AI finds loopholes in its instructions to achieve its goals without caring about the bigger picture. For example, a gaming AI might exploit bugs to secure points rather than playing 
the game fairly. Robustness failures. This happens when an AI works fine in normal situations, but fails in rare or extreme cases. For example, a self-driving car might perform well in typical conditions, but struggle with unusual road scenarios. Control problem. As AI systems become more independent, it can be hard to keep them under human control. If they start pursuing their own goals, even harmless ones, they can still misalign with human interests. So, what causes this misalignment? Unclear or incomplete goals. AI relies on humans to set clear objectives. I talked about my video, uh, Super Intelligent AI. Behind these AI systems, there are humans involving in work environment, cultural background, and everything. If these goals are vague or incomplete, the AI might interpret them in unexpected ways. For example, if an AI is asked to reduce crime, it might suggest extreme measures like mass surveillance, ignoring human rights concerns. Value mismatch. AI doesn't automatically understand human values. While it can follow specific rules, programming complex ethical principles is tough, my friend. Different people might also have conflicting values, making it hard to, play, to please everyone. Over-optimization. If an AI focuses too much on optimizing one thing, it can ignore other important factors. For example, an algorithm designed to increase engagement might push sensationalists content just to keep users hooked, even if it harms the quality of discussions. Some of the people who commented on my AI-related videos and tech-related videos, their comments never published, and it wasn't me. I published them. I clicked at the publish, and I took time because I have very limited time Every day, and I sleep like I go to bed at 3 a.m. and wake up at 8, sometimes earlier, 6. It's not good, I know, it's not healthy, but I'm working a lot on a daily basis, so um, that's the way it is. And uh, so I took time, answer to those comments, but unfortunately, when I clicked at publish, uh, the comment wasn't published. One of these uh, lovely people, beautiful minds, wrote almost his or her uh, comment because um, many of many of these people they don't publish comments under their real name. So I also wrote the response on two pages because it was a nice discussion. The thing that person wrote was very intriguing and very interesting so that triggered me to respond and it could have been a nice discussion but unfortunately uh, both my response and his or her comment uh, filter out that's why i received some messages to my email uh, which my assistant uh, forwarded to me and a lot of them actually Limited training data. AI is only as good as the data it's trained on. If the data is biased or incomplete, the AI's performance will suffer. You see, for example, Google search engine has a lot of, I mean, one day your keywords are top ranked and a month later your keywords are nowhere to be found, although you played all your cards right, and many of you are business owners, and you d- are dependent on the 
income you are earning in your online bookstore, I'm sorry, n- not just books, but uh, uh, e-commerce. I'm into a book a lot. <laughs> That's why I said bookstores. But I meant your online e-commerce shopping websites around the world. So, so that's because they're bad programmed. It doesn't matter. Even lately, Google algorithm was uh, um, discovered by, by some people, and uh, they had to um, change again, modify the algorithm. So that's why I wrote uh, an article in, uh, a few months ago about why Google is so messed up. And I even when I was at, in college, I I worked. Um, I was subcontractor at Google, and uh, back back in the day, Google wasn't AI, so I had to fetch um, keywords which weren't um, aligned with uh, Google uh, guidelines, Google search engine guidelines send those keywords to California. I lived in Norway, so. And then later on, I've been following Google algorithms. If you check out my website, maria-johnson.com, you will see I talked about the evolution of Google algorithms since 1998. Engineers at Google are working on a daily basis in order to um, make Google work uh, better. Actually, now Google is AI and machine learning and deep mind, deep learning. These um, are implemented in Google search engine and it's AI, but at the end of the day, there is a human behind the search engine programming. So we all are human and one day we have headache, the other day we have a private problem. Uh, so these effects are work limited training data ai is only as good as the data it is trained on if the data is biased or incomplete the ai's performance will suffer too facial recognition trained on mostly lighter skinned faces struggles to recognize darker skinned individuals the same thing i've been talking about for many years about voice search doesn't recognize different dial- dialects. With different dialect, I mean, speak with um, dialect uh, with Google, and you see a very wrong um, search result through voice search. That's why many people, especially because not everybody speaks English, and many people suffer from getting the right result because AI is programmed, especially voice search. I mean, many people use mobile and uh, and their mobile to search for something or their desk on their desktops um, t- or laptops. Um, they search for a stuff on Google. So everybody still rely on typing to find the right result. And I'm not uh, questioning Google's accomplishment. After so many years, since 1998, and I do believe that Google is um, doing very well in comparison with the other search engines in Europe and North America. In Asia, it's Baidu that is doing a great job, and um, and also Yandex in Russia and uh, Eastern European countries. Another thing to talk about is unexpected behavior in complex systems. AI can develop behaviors that weren't planned. Oh, yeah. These emergent behaviors can lead to misalignment, especially in environments or situations the AI wasn't specifically trained for. In my book about AI in digital marketing and the future of AI in digital marketing, I explain about supervised and unsupervised training algorithm 
I wrote many articles back in the day about how to train the algorithm because when you write the algorithm and program, you code based on the algorithm, then um, you have to train it. For example, when you are programming a search engine, you have to train data. For example, when you write cat in search, uh, you type cat. So if the search shows you something else, not cat, this was type of training that Google search engine um, uh, trainer, uh, programmers, uh, programming engineers back in the day, they did with, uh, especially in the beginning, it was Sergey Brin, um, who was behind that. Then later on, they became bigger and bigger, and they expanded the business, and they took over a lot of um, um, market share. So when they write a programmer, I mean, search engine programmer writes a, um, a keyword, and if the search uh, search result is something else, what's similar to the keyword, then the programmer has to train it so that the search engine doesn't repeat unexpected behavior is because you see, in complex systems, AI can develop behaviors that weren't planned. Scale and complexity as AI systems grow more advanced, predicting their behavior in all situations gets harder. This complexity increases the risk of unforeseen problems or interactions between different parts of the system.